The Bf 110G2 is a Rank 3 German strike aircraft at battle rating of 3.7. The BF 110G2 is incredibly versatile due to the variety of offensive weapons which can be selected. Depending on the weapon loadout chosen, this strike aircraft can take on the roles of attacker, bomber, and even bomber interceptor. Though the BF 110 can take on fighters when the opportunity comes up or is necessary, caution must be taken as any single engine fighter will likely outturn the BF 110 and maneuver it into an attack position, effectively reversing roles. When compared to its predecessors, the C7, F2, and the G2 is a noticeable upgrade in flight. The BF 110G2 is a heavy plane with little maneuverability compared to other single engine fighters. Once suspended armament is equipped, its flight characteristics worsen even further. While it has a good climb rate, it tends to lose energy in turns and at high speed. This aircraft can effectively take on different roles depending on the map played or the targets intended. Knowing the maneuverability challenges faced with selecting the various armament loadouts will help the G2 pilot ensure to avoid areas of the map where they will be at a major disadvantage and ensure effective use of the ordnance on board. In ground realistic battles, the BF-110 G2 is a fantastic multi-purpose plane being able to carry various bombs, additional guns, rockets, or nothing allowing it to perform both ground attack and air superiority roles. For ground pounding, the most recommended setup is two 500 kg bombs with at least 1.5 seconds fuse. They are loaded on the fuselage and drop one by one, meaning that with accurate aiming, you can consistently get around two enemy targets easily. Dive at a target at no more than 45 degrees, the elevator cannot effectively pitch the plane up in time, resulting in a crash, and gather speed up around 500 km per hour, if too fast, cut the throttle. Keep an eye on the enemy air spawn. Once an enemy plane spawns, you must decide if it is single-engined or twin-engined as fast as possible. You can force it to engage in a head-on, as your nose-mounted cannons are effective at this. If the opponent is single-engined, Avoid turning too much and maintain your speed. If necessary, use your tail gun and put a stray of 7.92mm bullets into it, but remember to use the armored target's belt to compensate for the small caliber. You can also target ground units, especially lightly armored ones, SPAA, light tanks, and open-topped SBGs. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe.